All right. Hello, folks. We are finally here on segment eight of eight of the women's USBC final. And I think, again, you probably already know all the teams. And so this is actually probably the least interesting set because I think the boards overall were not as interesting. And the other thing is that we were up by a lot. So any board where it did, wasn't like we were losing 13 imps was going to be great. Uh, even if it felt like maybe a small loss, then it was like whatever. And certainly if it was a flat board, it was like fantastic. So I think that was just the kind of mentality you have when you're going into playing 15 boards up 50. Um, but obviously you try to push it out of your mind and just think about playing bridge normally, but I think it's always in the back of your mind that you're counting the imps that you could potentially lose. Uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead and get started here. So the very first board, I pick up a strong two club opener and fourth chair, so I go ahead and do that. Partner responds two diamonds, I bid two no trump. She transfers to heart or to spades, and I, uh, and then she bids three no trump, and I continued here with four clubs, which shows a good raise to four spades. If you think about it, it really just has to be that, and it doesn't really say anything about clubs either. It just says that I have a good hand for spades, and Beth didn't really care. And if you can see, this contract is basically on one of two things, either spades 3-2 or the club finesse. So it's a very good spot. and You definitely don't want to be any higher than that. So when they let a diamond, I won and I immediately played ace of spades and a spade just to try to get the kids off the street, so to speak. And I think I played a few more cards before I eventually just claimed on the club finesse. And that was offside, so we made 10 tricks. So this was a good start because I could really see that there's no way for us to do any better on this board. Of course, they made an over trick at the other table. Uh, and um, so now Beth opened one spade. I responded two spades. Pamela over called three hearts and Beth jumped to four spades. And this went all pass. And as is the problem when you have your all of your side's defensive assets is that you're pretty prone to getting end played, which is what happens here. They lead a heart and uh, Pamela does best to exit with the king of diamonds or a low diamond would be similar. And Beth wins this, draws her two rounds of trumps, and extracts Pamela's exit card, and then plays a club to the queen. So now Pamela is in, and her options are she can play a heart back, either a high or low heart, uh, and this is going to give Declare a pitch of their club, and then they can play ace of clubs, rough a club, so now the fourth club is good, cross and trumps, and then pitch their diamond. Or she can do what she did, which is play a club back. So now Declare wins, crosses, and crosses again to pitch their diamond. So basically the same thing, depend, no matter what you do. Uh, it sucks to get in played. So we did pick up an imp here. So back to even on the set. Next board, Pamela opened two spades. Very strong two spade bid here. Uh, and I made a takeout double. And of course, I'm not the ideal shape for this, but my plan was to correct clubs to diamonds. And unfortunately, my hand is a little too strong that I can't just pass it out, really. And again, I don't really have the right kind of hand to be bidding three diamonds here. I think I really want to get hearts in the picture. So anyway, Pamela made a creative jump to four spades, and no one could find another call, so this went all pass. And... Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Let's see what happens in four hearts. I think that in four hearts, we lose two spades and one club. So I think we'll do make four hearts as long as we guess the queen of diamonds. Uh, but we don't make five hearts, which is clear. And so we were going to do whatever we could against four spades. So I didn't really know what the club position was. So my partner played the jack of hearts at trick one. So I played a heart through her in case I needed a diamond through. And now we cashed her two diamond tricks. Because, you know, I certainly was not going to do anything besides just cash these tricks because I didn't know if the clubs were running or what was going on there. Just wanted to make sure we beat this contract. And now Beth switched to a trump, which they didn't do at the other table in the same contract. So this meant that uh, Joanna had to do something with her other two losers. So she roughed one of them and tried to pitch the other one on the king of clubs 
which I surprisingly roughed after making a takeout double. So they went down two, a kind of not super interesting board. And I could see that we were making four hearts, but I could also see that they might go down in four hearts and that four spades was a very cheap save that I was sure that they would find. So, so far nothing really exciting has happened. Now, I passed and uh, West opened a spade and my partner over called two diamonds and it went past on my right. And I think I could have tried to know. At the table, I didn't really think about it because I had queen empty fourth of spades and when I think about a 2 no bid, uh, in my head it's like, you know, I have a better spade stopper, but I think that, like, I at the time I was just being a little delusional. Probably I was, I was thinking about other things too much. So I was thinking that I would raise to three diamonds, and if partner had any interest, they could continue with either three hearts or three spades, over which then I would happily bid three no trump. Um, and so that's what I did. And... It went past, and Beth here thought for a very long time um, because I think she was trying to envision possible hands I could have and whether we could have three no trump. And as she was thinking, I was regretting not bidding two no trump, but then she eventually passed, and now it was Joanna's turn to think for a long time. And she, I think, um, partially due to Beth's tank, she ended up passing as well. Uh, and it's true, we do make three no trump. Of course, the opponents make four hearts, so it's one of those weird deals where we, everyone just went really low at our table. At the other table, they got catapulted into five hearts down one, and we were in three diamonds making for a pretty, pretty funny push here. Um, and there was not really anything to the play. We took the same few tricks, I think, that we would have taken had we been in a three no trump. So that was, uh, at the time I was thinking, well, I didn't really know what was going on in the heart suit, so I thought maybe they might have bid three no at the other table, but at least it was a white game. So now west opened a spade, north passed, and east bid two hearts, so I thought this was a great time to make a takeout double here, uh, and the best thing about this takeout double is it, it's not like the auction had gone a spade pass two spades and I double now partner has to bid. If partner has an unsuitable hand for me now, uh, the opponents have to get back to two spades, right? They're not going to play two hearts doubled, so part it's basically a safe takeout double here. Uh, so I doubled, and of course partner picked my worst suit, and I thought briefly about um, correcting to diamonds, but then I was like, whatever, we're not doubled, partner probably has five clubs. And uh, the hand is not super friendly for us, so she ended up going down three. Uh, and at the other table, they had a funny result. Uh, they played three no f with our cards on a bidding misunderstanding. Uh, and, uh, well, you can go check that one out. But uh, there was a lead out of turn that was not accepted that was actually beneficial for our side. So it was just pretty funny. Um, and I don't, don't really agree with the comments here by the... Um, the Vugraph operator about keeping double of two hearts as a lead director because I think that it's actually better that you can use double as a takeout double. This gives you more safety. So it's, if you want to punish the opponents for their system, then you want to be able to make safer takeout doubles as opposed to just doubling to show whatever like your lead direct is, you know, some sort of nebulous two hearts lead direct. Um, and uh, I won't really go through the play here that much. Uh, I think that uh, we're just going to lose whatever tricks we get. We lose. So so here we were in three clubs down, three undoubled at least. And so that didn't really feel like a good board, but at least it was just a part score swing. And so now East opens a diamond, and it goes pass, and West bids a no trump, which is artificial, showing something or other. And uh, they have some sort of weird relay auction again to get to four hearts. Let's see who's on lead against. I, so I was on lead against four hearts and I don't remember what I led. Right, so I led my stiff ace of clubs um, hoping that maybe I could find partner with an entry somewhere so then um, hopefully we could get the ace of clubs, a club rough, the ace of hearts, and partner's entry. That was my goal here and unfortunately uh, it was not to be, so I played the ace and partner played the ten of 
clubs, which is the uh, highest club I could see. So I was hoping that she was giving me suit preference for spades, which she was. So I shifted to a spade. Unfortunately, it's a matter of, you know, too little, too late kind of thing. So now Declare was able to comfortably draw trumps and pitch her uh, pitch her spade loser on the king of king jack of clubs. Now, of course, if I had a uh, not cash the ace of clubs, uh, what she would have had to do is she would have had to uh, knock out the diamond first to pitch her spade loser instead of drawing trumps. So that may be a little harder, but uh, whatever the case, I could see that they were at least making this contract. So another push board, I thought, and at the other table, the opponents made a spec double that didn't pan through, so again, we won a few imps here. So now this board, uh, my righty opened a diamond, and some people looking at my hand may just feel like this is an automatic four spade bid, but in some situations, I'm a little conservative, such as when my trump texture is 76432. Uh, but eventually, I thought for a while, and I was like, I just can't not bid four spades. Um, it's clearly just the most, uh, bid, the bid that's going to be the hardest for the opponents to deal with. And I was white on red, and I had, you know, enough safety, I thought. Uh, certainly, sometimes when you bid four spades, uh, it goes double all pass, and it's just right, because the opponents have like a trump stack behind you and you have you know your partner doesn't have a diamond fit with you and like sometimes you know your partner is a past hand right sometimes they weren't even making anything because your partner is long in hearts and clubs and it's just a disaster but uh, eventually i decided that i just had to bid four spades and uh pamela chose an interesting action um by bidding five hearts here and this went pass 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 and my partner led a high spade, so I could immediately see that two spades were cashing. So I go, went ahead and cashed that. And then I did play the last spade in case my partner had jack third of hearts or something like that. But at this point, Pamela just claimed down one. So I thought, I, I was thinking through the hand, and it looked like four spades was going down. So I thought this might be a small pickup or a push board. Um, of course, at the other table, they had a little bit of an accident, and four spades actually made. So... That was um, actually a big loss for us here. So now here, um, I had a pretty normal one no trump opener, 14 count with a six card minor and a pretty good hand. And as I always say with these kinds of hands, if you do open a no trump on them, you are planning to accept your partner's game invite because your hand is a very ripe source of tricks here. And so partner made a game invite. I said I had a maximum and they bid 3-no trump. And 3-no is a very good spot if the opponents can't take the top X number of tricks. And here, unfortunately, um, the hearts, they had a heart lead and the hearts were 5-3. Uh, notice that if the hearts were 4-4, four, four, then it's very likely we would be making this contract. So I'm very happy to be in this spot at Red Imps and uh, they cashed their cards, and then I claimed when the diamonds broke. So a little unlucky, but again, I was, I could tell that uh, even though we were in game going down, and maybe they weren't in game at the other table, that again, it was just going to be a parts worth swing, if anything, because we weren't making a different game. So now the next board. I went past pass, and East opened a diamond, so I overcalled two diamonds natural, since they play like a zero plus diamond, I believe. That was our agreement. And it went past, and my partner tried two spades. And I thought for a while here, um, my two options were going to be pass and three spades. That's what I was thinking about. And I didn't really love my hands. Um, and partner was a passed hand. So that means that most of the time here, she's only going to have five spades. And we open pretty aggressively. So, you know, she might have opened like a 10 count with a singleton. Uh, so she could be like as much as basically she could have an 11 count with a five card suit or something like that, I thought. Um, that was like her maximum hand. And she could also just have just some sort of more random hand with a partial diamond fit where she's just trying to get us to our 
to see if, you know, if I actually have a good hand, maybe I have four card support, then maybe we have a game. So I really actually thought about passing here because I was worried about um, whether or not we could even make three spades, just depending on the way her honors were on the hand. Eventually I decided that I just couldn't pass, that I had to bid three spades. So that's what I did. And um, my partner was happy to bid four spades. And Joanna found a good lead here. If she doesn't lead her clubs, uh, then my partner's second club will go away on the king of diamonds, and she'll easily make four spades. But uh, on the ace of clubs lead, they took their two clubs and then waited for the spades. So again, this was a pretty decent game to be in at our table. Um, it requires... I mean, it's not decent in the sense that it's off four toppers, but uh, apart from that, it's pretty decent. Uh, and they do, do have to find the club lead in order to beat it. So, so yeah, Beth played, did well to rough high with the jack of spades. She could work out that Joanna had both spade honors so that she could rough high and then play spades up towards the queen. And at the other table, they actually had a little bit of an accident, so we won a few imps for being in four spades down one. So now we're on to board 25, so that's six more to go, as the Vugraf operator points out. And uh, although I don't know it, we still have a 50 imp lead, so we're sitting in a very good position here. So now Beth opens one spade, and I responded one no trumps in my forcing, and she bid two no trump showing something like 17 to a bad 19. So I bid three diamonds, which we play as a transfer to hearts to get hearts in the picture. She bid three hearts, I bid three no, and she had no reason to go anywhere else. And here they made a normal lead of the jack of diamonds, and I was happy to see that nine of diamonds in the dummy there. So they played low, and I won, and now I set about drawing the clubs here and I think, um, so now Pamela continued the Ten of Diamonds, I think hoping that maybe Joanna had a diamond suit in another entry, and so then I unblocked the clubs and tried the spades, and when the spades came in, now I had the rest without having to lose a heart. So I think we, we uh, got an over trick here because at the other table they grabbed the ace of diamonds and shifted to a heart, so now uh, we had to lose one heart. But again, I was happy to see this board where nothing happened. So now it went pass, and I opened a club on my 11 count, and the opponents were passing, and partner bid 2 no for us, which is forcing, and I just bid 3 no, I had nothing else to say. And you can actually make 3 no trump um, if you guess that the king jack of clubs are doubleton, but Beth took a normal play of double hooking and clubs, so then she went down one. Um, at the other table, they actually had a very weird result. Uh, my hand passed and then invited, and I think that uh, Beth's hand didn't like her four triple three shape, so even though she had the maximum point count, she decided to pass the invite. So, um, so we were basically in a normal 25 high game, the opponents missed, and our game just happened to go down, unfortunately. So board 27. Now oh, this was a very exciting board here. So I opened one diamond in the south, and partner bid a no trump, and east made a takeout double, and when our partner responded two hearts, she took a gamble at four hearts here. And Beth had nothing better to do, so she led my suit diamonds. And I knew that Beth had some values over there. Um, so I guessed that Pamela did not have that much, really. And I put up the queen. It wasn't 100% clear for me to put up the queen, but eventually I decided that uh, there was basically that Beth must have a diamond on her, so I shouldn't put up the queen. And now, uh, now she went to work on cross-roughing the hand, essentially, which is her only real hope. Uh, so I won the ace of clubs, and I'm not sure what happens here if I just shift to a trump. If I shift to a trump, uh, my partner can win the ace of trumps and play a trump back, and she does best to go up with the king, and then she will be able to get 
two ruffs in each hand, which is four, and one trump. And I think um, I think she may be able to make it um, because she may be able to rough two clubs, and so then the fifth club might be good. Um, but if she, I guess if she does that, then she's going to lose two spades. So I don't think she can ever really make this contract on a trump return. But, you know, I was feeling a little iffy about leading a trump away from queen and one, so I didn't do that. Um, I just thought I would continue diamonds, um, hoping that the clubs were not going to set up. Or if she tried to set up the clubs, that I could tap the dummy a little bit. And she roughed, and now she pitched her spade and roughed that. And played a spade up, and roughed a spade, and and now I was pretty annoyed that I didn't play a trump. But I could, after counting her tricks, I could see that uh, she was still going to be short a trick at least. So she roughed and roughed a spade, and now she played this card here. And Beth here can do one of two things. Uh, she can either rough high and play a trump, and in which case declare will just score their king of hearts or she can rough low and that requires me then when she leads a club off the board to rough high um i i'm guessing that pamela still had her ten of hearts here because she had no reason to rough high with it earlier on probably just a misclick so if she did rough low then i would have to rough in with the queen of hearts which was going to hold and play a trump back to draw both their trumps on the last trick so she uh she eventually decided to do the latter, so she roughed, declare roughed, I roughed high, and uh, that was the last trick. So it was a little bit nerve-wracking here about whether four hearts was going to make. Um, at the other table they opened two diamonds and played it there, and could not make two diamonds, not surprisingly. So, um, so we lost a couple imps here, but it didn't really feel like a lose position to me. So now the opponents opened two hearts and went pass, and my righty bid three hearts, I think, or three diamonds, um, probably diamonds with some heart tall, and I thought my hand was just a little too good, that I had to bid three spades as much as I didn't really want to, uh, and that, you know, it was unlikely that they were going to double me because my spade texture was so good. So I did bid three spades, and partner hit with that dummy, and... Um, unfortunately, on this hand, they got a diamond rough, which is what is going to beat this contract eventually. So I was in three spades down one. Kind of an annoying result, but uh, just a part score swing at least. And so now we have two boards left to go, uh, and we're really winding down here. So I opened one club in third, and they overcalled a diamond, and Beth bid one heart. And Joanna, I think, jumped to three diamonds, which was mixed for them. And I don't really have enough to double here, um, which would show like a decent hand, usually with three hearts. And I didn't have a fourth heart, so I just passed. And uh, Beth, you know, considered doing something at this point since she was 5 4 2 2 with a nine count. But I think she also just thought, you know, how bad can defending three diamonds be if I couldn't? act over three diamonds, we probably don't have a game. So she just passed, didn't want to go for a number. And we do make a game because of the way the cards are lying, um, where both, where the uh, club finesse is on side, I think. So, uh, but then that's also what leads to uh, three diamonds going down one. So they did go down one at the other table, they played three hearts, making two up tricks. So we lost a few imps here, but uh, again, just a little bit of a part score swing. And now um, we're, we were on the final board, and it went pass pass, and Pamela opened a strong club. Joanna responded diamond, she bid a no trump, and that ended the auction, as none of us had a bid. And my partner led the ace of spades, which we play is attitude, so I discouraged. And she shifted to her natural shift, which is the queen of hearts, which I was happy to encourage here because I was holding king, nine, eight, fourth, and my hearts were just going to be higher than dummies. And so she continued, and uh, Pamela won the second heart, and went to work powering out the spades. 
Um, and at this point, Beth was thinking, so Pamela showed me her hand and asked me how many tricks she was making, and I couldn't really tell, because um, I was trying to count. I was like, well, you have four clubs, and um, I, like, you know, it wasn't really clear what was going to happen in the other suits. Um, and I think I was tired, but anyway, eventually Beth was like, I'm just going to lead a diamond, so that solved the diamond issue. So now she was going to um, get, I think, uh, she, now she can drive out the other spade, and then can never get to me in the heart suit for making three no trump. And that was the final board of the set, a very dull board. Uh, so, as you can see, um, we, uh, this here, as you can see, we started out like decently, then we lost this big swing here, and then we lost a few random swings, and uh, eventually we ended the segment down, um, what's this number, down, so we lost the segment by 18, but we ended up winning the whole thing by 34 still, so that was very exciting, and very, it was great that it was, when it was over. <laughs> And anyway, so I hope you enjoyed these videos and uh, that you enjoyed getting an idea of the kind of stuff that I'm thinking about when I'm playing bridge. And as always, uh, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to contact me. And uh, yeah, so I will see you next time.